Here's the Galloway that I'm going to be selling on eBay. Uh, due to its weight, I am going to be shipping it as you see it here, except I am going to unscrew the uh, muffler and include that with the flywheels. That'll bring the weight of the engine down to 60 pounds or just a little bit under 60 pounds. And I need to keep the whole package under 70 pounds because I'm going to be shipping via FedEx. So this video is to show you what goes where when you receive the engine, just so there no, uh, there's no confusion on your part. This flywheel is the one with the governor weight on it. The engine speed is adjusted here by either loosening or tightening. You tighten up this and the engine will run a little bit slower. You put less tension on the spring and it'll run a little bit faster. Don't run it too fast. These engines aren't designed to be run fast. So that weight on this flywheel goes in the inside. This is the governor mechanism. As you can see, when I, when I, when I push this in, which is what the weight will do when it moves out, this is the lockout me mechanism that locks out your push rod and will hold the exhaust valve open so that it free wheels in between the firings. That's how a hit miss engine works. So what's important here is that you use the correct keyway. This is the key that goes on here because this slides underneath that and that needs to be able to move. When you're putting this keyway in, you're going to put it in so it just touches it just touches this. You don't want it to push that in. Not that it would really hurt anything, but it might change the adjustment here. So I'll show you here by putting the flywheel on. Weight, obviously, on the inside. Line the keyway up. The simple thing is here when you're when you're tightening this up, have this flush with the crank shaft end. That'll put everything here where it's supposed to be. So flywheel flush. Put the keyway in like this. Remember that has to slide underneath that piece. And you can see it here. You're going to leave just a little bit of space when you're pushing it. In fact, the further you push it in, the more it tightens up. Leave a little bit of room right there. Just enough room that if you want to take it out, you can put a screwdriver in here and, and pry that out. Don't put this edge here on the key smack up against the edge of the flywheel. So this is flush. That goes in like that. Then you have your three set screws to tighten. Don't kill them when you're tightening them. Turn them in till they touch and then give it just a little just a little nudge about that much. Otherwise you're going to gouge you're going to gouge the crank end and you're going to gouge overly gouge the keyway. By the way, when this is running, the flywheels, the top of the flywheels go towards the back. That's the correct direction for running. Now let's go to the other side. I'm filming this in my uh, this is my trailer slash outside workshop here where I have my lathe and drill press and small milling machine and some of my other stuff because my basement is filled up with other equipment. Here's the flywheel for the other side. The pin striping goes to the outside. Now, this one's going to go on all the way. Just a little bit of space. Just a little bit of space between here and the end of the bearing right there. Now, what I'm including with this sail is this can be used as a flat belt pulley. It has a crown. I just made this the other day on, on my lathe there. This has a crown in the center, so you can run a flat belt with this pulley. 
and this pulley serves a second purpose as it can be used as a starter pulley as well. Now, where's the keyway? Here's the keyway for this one. This one's simple. There's a uh, this little area here, this little ground out area here goes on the bottom and goes in first. Let's find a key here. Okay. And that'll just go in until it stops. That's plenty good. And then again, tighten up your three. This one has three set screws. Let me check, make sure I'm saying the right thing. One, two, three. Again, don't kill them when you tighten them. You know, you just don't want the flywheel obviously to come off. This has a keyway slot in it. And this will slide on and with the keyway right there and that goes right up against there. This also has three set screws. Again, don't overly tighten them. Now here, if you're, if you're not going to use the one-way bearing starter you, or for display, you can just leave this bearing out of here. What this bearing does, it's a one-way bearing. It only turns in one direction. Like right now it turns in that direction and then it locks and pulls in that direction, which would obviously be opposite if you turned the bearing around. So if you're going to put this in here and use my starter setup, you're going to put this in and you're going to line this keyway with one of these set screws, one of the three. I'll slide it in there. And where is my Allen wrench? <laughs> anyway, what happens here is you would chuck this up and a half inch uh, chuck drill, I believe, probably saying that wrong, and see it freewheels that way. So when the engine kicks over, this will freewheel on your drill. But to turn it over, it grips this way. I'm spinning the whole bearing right now, but you get the idea. So when this is all on here and snugged up and, and the drill is turning, it's gonna turn the motor over. So that's how you would use this bearing setup as a starter. So it's either way. A lot of people start these by hand. Uh, you may might have something wrong with you. You might not have the strength to start this by hand. This just makes starting a whole heck of a lot easier. I've had some people criticize these. They say, oh, you need to start it by hand. Well, you know what? When it's hot out, especially like it is today, this is gonna make my job of setting up this engine a whole heck of a lot easier just to have this chucked up in a drill, stick it in here, and spin it over, rather than sit here and spin it all afternoon. So there you go. That's how you reassemble it. And this will be off as well, because this is solid brass. That weighs quite a bit, and that just screws on. So you just screw that on till it's a little snug there, and that's it. And that should cover the assembly for when you get the engine. Now it's time for me to go out and get this dirty, start it up, get it running, and that will be in a, another video that I will have posted. And the links for these videos will be in the ad. Hey, thank you for watching. It's time to go have fun.